All right, so um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick video update on what we're doing with this great big bio garden out here in just outside of Eugene, Oregon. And we got a nice little double wide, two levels with a telescoping frame that gives us a third level potentially or a level for doing other things like shading or or uh, uh, putting lamps or things of that sort. But in this case, we're shading and we're dehydrating. So we're, gray, we're growing duckweed in these troughs that are now still. I don't have any water movement going on there. Got lots of nutrients in there. Um, and so above that, uh, we have duckweed that's been dehydrating. And yeah, just gonna add it to this little bucket over here. Yep, not bad, not bad. So uh, yeah, that's it. We're we're growing duckweed. We think duckweed's going to be an awesome, awesome uh, feeding uh, solution for uh, the food chain of animals that that we thrive on, including ourselves. Uh, if you can grow a food that's fresh and green and organic and recycles your own waste green biomass wastes, um, everything with nutrients, uh, various discards, even human urine. We don't use any feces in any of these systems for uh, our nutrient source. We use these, these biomass blends that we develop that are just mixtures of all kinds of different biomasses to give us various NP and K values and other macro and trace elements and so on and so forth. But uh, nutrients are everywhere in all the food scraps and uh, in in all things green and everything that's you know even coffee grounds and split, spent brewery grains and just about everything you can think of that's green fresh natural organic can be um, used as a source of nutrients to grow duckweed and um, as we grow everything else the same way Everything just organic biomass is used to make liquid fertilizers that's used to feed all these different plants. And, but, you know, you can do it from anything that's locally available and keep the, the nutrient cycle recir recirculated in the community, in the house, in the town. And you don't rely on, on, in, on inputs that are manufactured or produced off-site and had to be distributed through some big you know, network of exchanging money and so on and so forth. This is just a very easy approach to growing a feed that can feed chickens, it can feed people, it can feed goats, it can feed people, it can feed people that, that, that can like eat off of just this if they're vegetarian. Okay, this is like a perfect protein, high protein meal, 30 to 40, sometimes 45 percent protein. It's like a waxy leaf. It's not a high cellulose leaf, so it's easy to chew, easy to consume. Um, and it's, uh, um, it has an amino acid profile that's, that's very complex, and very beneficial. Does it require cooking uh, per se? You don't have to do much to make this ready to eat. It could be eaten like this if the water was clean. And you could you know, control for that. But, uh, this is this is this is what um, I think is going to be, you know, something to explore as a as a uh, uh, as a as an opportunity for feeding. Uh, people everywhere and creating food security. I mean, if, if, of course we want a more diversified diet, but there are foods like this that can be made into a variety of different things and and uh, provide that nourishment that could be critical. It could it certainly provide the key nutrients when the diet is maybe insufficient with you know other foods that may be grown uh, locally or bought in stores as maybe preferred. So anyway, um, we're very excited about this plant. Very excited that we were able to grow it in this uh, awesome bio garden, 40 foot unit, recirculating with underground tanks that uh, return nutrient water back and forth. Right now we've just 
stifled the pumps and 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 closed off the the the, uh, the valves, and now we let the nutrients, the plants take up the nutrients, and we keep harvesting until it needs a refresher of, of uh, nutrients. But uh, anyway, that's how we're doing it here, and uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, love to hear your comments, and you know, share your thoughts uh, uh, in the comment section below. Um, we'll do our best to answer every one of them. Thanks a lot.